Do you constantly live in the ego? You have the ego dilemma where you're taking on other people's personality as your own and just living in a very surface level of yourself, not looking internal at all, but looking always external for answers. That's what we're talking about in today's video. So hello everyone. My name is Autumn Astrodel, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about detaching from the ego. So enjoy the video. The ego is part of our conscious mind that is reactive, emotional, and controls most thoughts, behaviors, desires, and impulses. It's what ties you to the physical world we reside in. The ego serves a purpose as a defense mechanism since it reacts quickly without thought. However, many people live in their ego, unable to connect to the deeper part of themselves, and thus are often angry, hostile, and unable to think for themselves. These people often collect other people's thoughts and ideas and absorb them into their own ego. This is the ego dilemma. In my previous video, we discussed the dilemma in detail. Now I'm going to explore how to detach from the ego and begin to think more rationally and be emotionally stable. The ego is the very surface level part of us. It's not who we truly are deep down. And as a result, many, many people get lost in their ego. They get trapped in it as if that is the only part of them that they really know and can connect with. They don't connect in the deeper part of themselves. So when it comes to this ego dilemma, as well as you being able to connect with a deeper part of you, it really is a major problem for a lot of people because they cannot connect with a deeper part of them. They're always looking externally for answers. You have to be able to put that aside for a moment and connect with the things that you truly enjoy and love in this world. What are your passions and your hobbies? And you need to pursue them of what makes you feel right as opposed to what someone else wants, what someone else wants you to do. There is no doubt that the ego is impulsive and emotional. And that tends to be the thing that is one of the hardest to change. The ego reacts quickly, which is what it's designed to do as a survival mechanism. However, we give it too much control and allow it to be reactive and emotional during times it doesn't make sense. Dealing with impulsiveness and emotional instability is to connect deeper with your emotions. What brings you happiness, sadness, and anger? Furthermore, what makes you feel these emotions very quickly to the point it's uncontrollable? When you begin to feel the emotions very strongly, instead of reacting by yelling at someone or taking it out on yourselves or whatever other negative impulses that come up, it's best to quickly think logically and bypass the ego for a moment and see if what you're getting upset about is actually worth it. A classic example is when your spouse gets on your nerves and you get angry and upset at something trivial, such as dishes that are unwashed. You may be very reactive and turn something small into something much larger. It's not you doing this, but rather your ego igniting the flame. Think rationally and put those emotions in check since it's not worth getting upset over. Being introspective is a huge part of detaching from the ego and bringing out your true self. What do you want to pursue in life? The thing that comes to mind needs to be explored since you will immediately have doubt. That doubt needs to be analyzed since that usually is the ego talking, disguising itself, using your voice, but is actually another person's opinion. When you begin to break down those walls, you begin to find who you truly are. But there is another huge hurdle. Stop comparing yourself to others and wanting to be better than them. This too is a survival mechanism since we are competitive by nature, survival of the fittest. So we will do whatever it takes to be a better person. However, in our attempts to do so, we deny one major thing, and that is our true self. We get so caught up on how we present ourselves that we neglect ourselves. Since we're living in the ego, that's all we want to pre present to others, and thus it's fake. We have a fake persona of who we are and think we know ourselves, but we know nothing about the person we are deep down. When you begin to not care what other people think, you'll be able to pursue your passion without fear and criticism and doubt. You don't need to compare yourself and want to be a better person than another since you have no worries that lead you to, the, to feeling this this way. You live life independently and everything outside of you is an illusion. You shape the external world based on what you think internally. When you live solely in the ego, 
the external world. Then, it's filled with chaos, hostility, and fear. Detaching from the ego and not letting it control every aspect of your life is not easy, but with these steps, you can be stable and rational without fears of what others may think about you. When you put the ego in its place and let it do its job when absolutely necessary, you find out just how much you've been holding yourself back. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. In our pursuit to connect to a deeper part of us, we have to be able to rationalize emotions. We will become highly emotional. We will compare ourselves to other people as we think we are better than them, that we can do stuff better than them. This is competition. We are competitive by nature. That's how human beings are. That's how human beings have always been. That's how human beings will always be until you're able to rationalize that and put some, talk some sense into that and calm that ego down a little bit. That is the ego. That is the ego at play. The ego serves a purpose, but you have to be able to tame it when it is necessary in order for you to connect with the deeper part of you. Your ego is always right there on the surface, ready to attack someone else for what they believe if, they, if you perceive them as a threat. If it's bringing you down, that is the threat. Someone else who is better than you or what you perceive is better. You may become highly, highly emotional, angry, depressed, emotions all over the place. That again is the ego. So to, to detach from it, you have to rationalize, rationalize those things, calm your emotions down and stop being so competitive. So I want to thank you all so very much for tuning into this video. Let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to the ego and what you have done to rationalize some of your emotions and connect with a deeper part of you. I'm really curious to hear it. So you all take care. Have a great one and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.